All right, it's October 8th. I'm all packed, ready to go. Just waiting for Alec to get here. We've got a pretty cool trip coming up. We're going to Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. And yeah, should be pretty sweet trip. A lot of places I've been wanting to go, finally making it happen. The A7S III just came out. That's what I'm vlogging on now. It kind of inspired me to do this vlog, finally. I've been talking about doing it for a really long time. Ever since I started traveling in 2017, Alec got one as well. So he's gonna be helping me shoot the vlog a little bit and we'll see what happens. All right, so the car is all packed up. We have about a 10-ish hour drive to Utah. That's it, we will see you there. Let's go. Let's go. We're about four hours from our first hotel. We haven't really vlogged a whole lot because nothing too interesting has happened besides driving. We just stopped and got some to eat. With that, I will see you at the hotel. Yep. So we just checked into the hotel. That drive took longer than I expected. It was about 12 and a half hours. And I'm sure you can tell by my face that I am extremely tired. I think we're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and hit the Great Salt Lake. I'm not sure what part we're gonna hit yet. We're checking out the spiral jetty or something of the sort. I'm here still editing for about 10 hours. We're here in Salt Lake, ready to go see the spiral jetty or something spectacular tomorrow. And I'm tired. So, get out of my pace. <laughs> I think me and Alec are gonna call it a night. Both of us barely got any sleep last night, so we're pretty much toast. We will see you guys in the morning. All right, so we just woke up feeling pretty refreshed, despite looking <laughs> super tired. I think last night I said we're going to the spiral jetty and that's what we're just about to do. I think it's about like a two hour drive from here. And from there, we're going straight to Montana to stay at our friend's place. The only thing I'm not excited about is having to carry all of this gear back down to the car every single night. I think we have to do it at least like eight more times on this trip. And that was only half the gear. This is Alex gear. We're good to bring it in every night. All right, so we just got here to Spiral Jetty. The road getting here was a little bit sketchy, but you can pretty much make it in any car if you go slow enough. <laughs> We're about to send the drones up and see what we get. Uh, it's looking pretty sweet from here. I see a little bit of pink off in the distance because we were looking at some photos on Instagram and we we're kind of seeing the pink water, but we'll see what we get and fingers crossed. Probably one of the most coolest things I've ever seen from the sky. What do you think? It's freaking amazing. Bro, let's see the screen. Let's see the screen, dude. I'm coming down into the spiral. We just sent the drones up, what'd you think? Honestly, I didn't think it was gonna be that great and it was freaking amazing. It was way better than I expected. We got pinks in the water. The spiral jetty itself was amazing. Everything about this was perfect. There was no wind, so we could fly the drone as high as we wanted without getting any wind messing with the drone, throwing it around, so it was just free range drone yeah. boys. Dude, that was probably one of the most coolest things I've ever shot with my drone, 100%. Straight up. Dude, like mind freaking blown. If you're ever in Salt Lake City, and you like to fly drones, this is the spot. Like, don't sleep on this. This is the spot. And this is just the beginning of the trip. Dude, these roads suck. Like, it's so bad. Like, the whole way is like washboard roads. Honestly, the camera's still shaking and we have steady shot on. 
<laughs> it's saying something. Okay, the active track on the S3 is like pretty insane. But can it withstand can the it bumpiest of roads? Dude, for real. These roads are pretty terrible. I think you can still make it in any car, even like a little like sedan or whatever. But if you have something bigger, that's obviously better. But yeah, just go slow. <laughs> and it will be worth it. 100% worth it. Coffee break, my dude. Cheers, brother. Cheers, bro. <laughs> what, what are you drinking? I don't know. <laughs> it's called the Dark Knight. It's like some dark chocolate iced coffee thing. So good. So freaking good. Dude, doing some drone action. Finally made it to Montana. We made it to Montana after seven hours of driving. Seven hours after the first 12 hours. Seven hours after the first 12 hours, going to that super amazing Salt Lake, which we've been reviewing the footage and losing our minds. Blown away by what we're seeing here in this state. And even just coming here at night, not even be able to really see the details of this whole place, this town of Bozeman. Honestly, we're just, excited to start tomorrow which we're going to be hopping on a helicopter so yep tomorrow is going to be amazing we're flying over yellowstone in the helicopter we're going to shoot the grand prismatic that's like my bucket list shot we are excited out of our minds even though we don't look it because we're super tired <laughs> we're just trying to offload all of our footage and get ready for tomorrow and stay hyped <laughs> The hype is real. The hype is so real. You can't see it, but it's real. It is so real, and we're both disgusting and need showers. <laughs> we are gonna go to sleep and wake up refreshed. We gotta get our beauty sleep and get on that helicopter tomorrow. Catch you tomorrow. So we just got here to Rocky Mountain Rotor Helicopters. Yeah. About to go up there. Gonna shoot the Grand Prismatic and Yellowstone and whatever else is up there. I think there's some other like small like geothermal hot springs like mini prismatics. And yeah, let's go check it out. And hopefully we make it back. Yeah, hopefully we make it back. Oh yeah, and, oh yeah, and today is 10 10 2020. I'm here for my bucket list shot. I'm here so, for my birthday. Here for your birthday, I'm here for my bucket list shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was insane. Mind blown. Worth every single penny. Straight up, bro. And we got the shot. Honestly, I had bits of doubts going up because the weather, it was just hazy from all the fires. So yeah. it's kind of sketched out, but knowing the prismatic, we're shooting down at it. We felt comfortable that we were gonna at least get that shot, which we did. We nailed it. That was my first helicopter ride 
and taking photos out of it and running two cameras at one time. Kind of hectic. I felt like I blacked yeah. out and I freaking loved it. I'm a little jelly. He got the open window, uh, but I mean. We rock, paper, scissors for we, it. We rock, paper, scissors it. Oh no. Yes. I lost. Defeat. Yeah, I've been on a helicopter and done some other aerial things in Hawaii and New Zealand and Canada and that hot spring that was like that that just tops everything and that was my first time so that was your first time so the bar is pretty high now yeah exactly it's definitely a different experience than just flying a drone for sure oh yeah there was one point where we looped around and all my shots were just super wide and I was like oh, do I have to crop in like later to get it or whatever so I asked him to, to flip it around and at that point I was just like shooting down at it and then that was the shot there there was like so much reflection over it and then i just turned the polarizer and it was like perfect and then we got the shot dude yeah. and yeah and we, we made it back alive and we made it back alive we did it for kobe did it for kobe did it for kobe my dude. boom so we're gonna go take a look at what we got on the computer and maybe actually go to yellowstone today i know for sure we're going tomorrow but we'll see about today see you guys in a little bit peace action over here. Grand Prismatic and all the hot springs back there. Super cool. Clouds are moving super fast. Alec is getting a little time lapse too. I'm gonna throw the S3 on there, get a little bit of slow-mo video, see how that looks. So we made it to Yellowstone yesterday. We didn't make it to the Morning Glory Pool. That's where we're about to go right now. We did get to go to Old Faithful and we literally walked up right as it exploded. We didn't really vlog any of it because we were freezing to death. <laughs> I think we both lost feeling in our feet in our hands and it was like hard to change lenses and stuff. So like vlogging didn't really happen, but we got to shoot this amazing buffalo that just walked right in front of Old Faithful. That was insane. Yeah. Right as the sun was going down. So a couple amazing moments. We, uh, we also had a little COVID situation. <laughs> That's why we're uh, in this hotel right now. We averted that, luckily, just avoided the whole situation. We're on our way to Jackson Hole right now. Actually, no, we're going to Yellowstone first. Yeah, we're going back again. Yeah, we're going back to Yellowstone. For the just, glory hole. For the glory hole. <laughs> we need that hole. We need the hole. We need the morning glory hole. Yes. <laughs> Then we're on our way to Jackson Hole to check out the Grand Teton. Yeah, see how hopefully, that goes. Hopefully find some moose. Hopefully see some moose, that would be amazing. We're also gonna try to shoot a little bit more B-roll on the way, like fly some drones where we can and such. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Bow. So we're on our way to Yellowstone again. We were there last night. We were actually supposed to go this morning, but the weather wasn't looking too promising. And actually on our way here to Yellowstone right now, it was just snowing a ton. It kind of stopped right now. We're going to check out the Morning Glory Pool or the, the hot spring and maybe Old Faithful, but we'll see what the weather's looking like out there. Dude, 
Cubs made it to Yellowstone, just rolled up to Old Faithful and second day in a row, it just like went off right as we got here. Pretty sweet. Walk into the Morning Glory hot spring pool right now. Like a mile walk, two miles, something like that. A mile each way. So, see how that goes. Should be pretty sweet. All right, doing a little bit of time-lapse action here. Just got to Morning Glory. This thing is absolutely insane. The colors are freaking unreal. Shooting with the 16 to 35 and the polarizer on the front. Cut out doing some time lapse action. Or wait, what are you doing? Your time lapse? Uh, no, long exposure pano. Long exposure pano. Hell yeah. Dude, this thing's freaking crazy. Dude, that, that steam feels so good. I know. <laughs> My hands are like freezing. Also, getting rained on right now. Testing the weather ceiling, I guess. <laughs> dude, we can get all these spots to ourselves. I know, dude. There's nobody here. Uh-uh. Freaking love it. Hard to see, but there's a bison way over there. They just kind of like randomly pop up everywhere. So cool. So we got the shot, but we are absolutely soaked. I'm not. He's not. I don't make very smart clothing decisions. <laughs> yeah, we just shot Morning Glory and like right in the middle of shooting it, we just got dumped on by like a bunch of hail and rain and all the gear got wet. Everything's wet. <laughs> yep. That sucked, but we got the shot. That's the most important part. I'm just vlogging on my phone now because everything is already packed up, And but we're going to the Tetons now. Hopefully we can get some magic down there and see what happens. We just pulled over to shoot this spot. I'm doing a little time lapse over there but oh my god the tetons are insane we got here just as the sun was going down a little bit too late um for the one spot we wanted to go to all the lights gone now i'm absolutely shivering and super cold right now my shoes are completely soaked from the last spot so i'm just wearing flip-flops right now <laughs> which sucks but oh this place this light so amazing Dudes, we're out here at Schwabacker's Landing. Got up for sunrise and then just shot the Molten Barn, TA Molten Barn, something like that. There was like a million people there, tourists and photographers, so we didn't really vlog a little bit of a hectic morning, but we're out here and this view is insane. All right, it's a little hard to see, but I think we just missed like the fall peak by a couple weeks and that's been the theme of this trip and that is why we're going to utah instead of colorado because we just missed that peak also by a couple weeks so pack up all of our stuff and head out to moab pretty soon i think we're gonna get some food and hope for the best and we're gonna go to arches and where else are we going arches canyon lands dead horse point and another super secret location in the jacuzzi <laughs> and we will see you guys there